the union cabinet today has approved three proposals for semiconductor plants in India, two in Gujarat and one in Assam, at an estimated cost of 1.26 lakh crore rupees. The proposals include India's first semiconductor fab by Tata Group and Taiwan's power chip in Gujarat's Dholera at a projected cost of over 91,000 crore rupees. Now, the Tata JV will be making India's first semiconductor fab in Dholera with a capacity of 50,000 wafers per month. IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav announced today. Now, the chip fab scheme will employ 26,000 people directly and nearly 1 lakh people will be indirectly employed and will get jobs, Ashwini Vaishnav said in that press conference. Listen in to what he said. Semiconductor fab ka approval kiya hai. Desh mein semiconductor fab ka approval देश के लिए बहुत बड़ा निर्णायक मोड़ है ये और आत्मनिर्भर भारत बनाने की जो जो संकल्प लिया है प्रधानमंत्री जी ने उस संकल्प की बहुत बड़ी ये सिद्धि है पहली कमर्शियल फैब भारत की बनेगी टाटा और पावर चिप ताइवान इनके कलैबोरेशन से धोलेरा स्पेशल इंडस्ट्रियल रीजन के अंदर बनेगी पहली सेमीकंडक्टर फैब इस सेमीकंडक्टर फैब में पचास हजार वेफर स्टार्ट पर मंथ वेफर यानी एक ये वेफर है राइट तो एक वेफर ऐसे पचास हजार वेफर पर मंथ इस फैब में बनेंगे एक वेफर के अंदर रफली पांच हजार चिप होती है ये एक चिप है छोटी है ये एक चिप है राइट तो एक वेफर के अंदर पांच हजार ऐसी छोटी चिप्स होती हैं तो प्रैक्टिकली इस प्लांट से साल की तीन सौ करोड़ चिप्स बनेंगी इस प्लांट से वो एक वर्ष में एनुअली थ्री हंड्रेड करोड़ चिप्स बनेंगी ये चिप्स प्रैक्टिकली आठ सेक्टर्स को कवर करेगी आठ सेक्टर्स को केटर करेगी हाई पावर कंप्यूट इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स टेलीकॉम डिफेंस कंज्यूमर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ऑटोमोबाइल पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन सब में ये चिप्स लगेंगी बहुत ही एडवांस्ड टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ इन चिप्स का निर्माण किया जाएगा मैन्युफैक्चर किया जाएगा and that is union it minister ashwini vaishnav remember just days ago he told tv9 uh, that india's first semiconductor fab is coming through very very shortly he promised that and it's now official ashwini vaishnav was speaking at tv9 what india thinks today listen in to what he said your personal focus as part of your ministry's objective, are we looking at replicating the success story we've had in core IT services as an export to the world? Now AI potentially replacing, if not uh, adding more value to that IT services story, or is it going to be the push on semiconductors where the government has a 76,000 crore rupee outlay? And uh, unfortunately, we haven't yet heard too much news about core manufacturing of fabs of uh, 28 uh, nm and below uh, you know any any groundbreaking announcement on that as yet we still seem to be uh, a little more forthcoming when it comes to assembly and packaging so according to you will the both move hand in hand or will one be a little more superior to the other we are a country of 1.4 billion people growing at a pace of six to eight percent we have very diverse population different people at different stages of skill different people at different stages of education, different stages of income. We cannot take any policy decision between this or that. Okay. This is a fallacy which is uh, presented by many uh, so-called uh, experts. We have to go for this and that. We have to go both for IT services and manufacturing. We have to go both for low-end manufacturing and high-end manufacturing. We have to go for both semiconductor packaging and semiconductor fab. We have to go for foundry as well as design. It cannot be this or that. So wait for a few more uh, weeks. 
maximum few weeks. Some you'll have a headline coming up. fab announcement also. You'll have very soon. And India. And he told us first, and it's now official, India is getting its first semiconductor fab. With me is the man who spilled the beans or got Ashwini Vaishnav to talk about it. Karthik, how does that feel? No, I think, uh, no, definitely it's a good feeling. I think the better feeling was the fact that the minister was so confident that there is going to be a semiconductor fab which is going to be announced very, very shortly. He had said in a matter of weeks, actually it was just a matter of days. So Monday morning we had this conversation, Monday afternoon rather, and uh, what, I think 72 hours later, on here Thursday, we are on we have Thursday, a confirmation. and we have a confirmation Yes, there is the first semiconductor fab of India announced today. This is a collaboration between Tata Group, which had in any case vowed its, uh, you know, its uh, intention to go ahead and invest in India's semiconductor story. Even at Vibrant Gujarat, we had heard enough and more being said about Tata in addition to many other Indian corporates wanting to invest in the semiconductor story in India. The challenge up until now was that most of the investments, <coughs> even Micron, for example, were coming in the OSAT and in the assembly and packaging, um, not as much in manufacturing mm -hmm. of fab. Now, these fabs are absolutely critical, essential to India's own self-reliance when it comes to any sort of electronics that we want to eight excel at. Eight key industries, at. what Ashwini so Vaishnav also pointed out. Eight key industries, at. this includes electronics, consumer electronics, this includes uh, GPUs, high-tech compute that he's talking about. This is pretty much the, uh, you know, the, the, the bread and butter of artificial intelligence and AI, the whole story rests on GPUs and GPUs. Whether these chips are going to be 28 nm or not, we don't know. That's a question I'd asked uh, the minister, but uh, he did not answer it then. And even in today's announcement, uh, you know, the exact specifications did not come. But the fact that, that we are looking at 300 crore chips being manufactured in India, 50,000 such wafers being manufactured every month. Each wafer will have about 5,000 such small chips. And the industries that it is likely to cater to, uh, ranging from electronics to uh, EVs, to the entire GPU ecosystem. I think it's definitely a great moment for India that finally after many years and a lot of budgets being allocated, we have the first fab Something announced. Coming but to this fruition. is not the only one. There are mm. a total of three which have been approved by the government. Mm -hmm. This thus far seems to be the only one which is into pure play fab manufacturing, mm -hmm. while the others continue to be in the OSAT space. Which is packaging uh, and designing space. Outsourced assembly, testing, packaging, right. all of that. Right. So Do we have a timeline? I'm, I'm, I'm out of time at this so point. 100 days is what the minister has said. This Holera plant of Tata in partnership with Power Chip, a Taiwanese company, PMSC, as we better know it, is going to be, uh, uh, I mean, I think groundbreaking is going to happen in about 100 days. Mm -hmm. Construction of the factory in Tholera will start in 100 days. And we saw the turnaround rate in the case of, let's say, Micron. And Micron had made its investment, the commitment to its investment in the month of July. And 18 months from then, July last year to mm -hmm. December this year, is when the first set of, uh, uh, of packaged semiconductors are going to roll out. So, so on the outside, July? 18 months, it mm -hmm. seems like a good window to consider.